Hold on, man. You sent that dude $5,000, man, without seeing the damn dog, man? You ain't FaceTime or nothing? What the hell was you thinking, man? Did you go on the social media website at all? You ain't go to his Facebook, his Instagram or nothing, just see if he got family pictures or anything? Man. Let me see if I got this thing in focus, man. You trying to tell me you ain't looking to no due diligence at all? You just sent that man $5,000, man. Man, if you guys are sick of getting scammed, man, you sick of trying to figure out if the guy's real or the female's real or not, see if you're going to get a real puppy, man, you guys, man, make sure you stay tuned, man, to some good information on figuring out if somebody's a scammer or not. So I'm back at it again, man. I'm sick of you guys out here on social media complaining about getting scammed, man. And I just feel like y'all just overlooking a lot of common mistakes that scammers make, man, that you guys can be peeping out, man. I got five things that you guys can do, man. Five things you guys can keep an eye out on. First one being, did you go on their social media, any of their platforms, go out into Facebook, their Instagram, Check and see if that person is really real. I mean, most people, if they're real, they got a picture of their family, a picture of them with the dog, especially their, their male or their female. And a lot of them got pictures of the, of the pups. The main thing I want you guys to look at is like, where's the pictures of his family at? Their family, his, her, his family, her family. Just look and see if, if you got a house in the background or something, like most people that got these social media websites, they're looking for a reason and a way to show you that they're legitimate or not. So if you guys go to their pages, see if they got pictures of them and their family, that's the first thing you could check out, man. That's the very first thing. Maybe this guy is real, got pictures of his family. You know, got pictures of him, video of him, video of him with the dog. Just start there first. Start with your detective work on their social media platform. Let's move to number two. All right, guys, man. Right into number two, man. Come here, buddy. Pretty little thing, you. Come here. I like it. So number two, man. Now, if you ask this person, he or she, give you a phone number, and they want to give you one of them what's up app numbers or some crap like that, and they jump around the bush and don't want to give you a direct number, that's probably a sure sign that that person's not real. They don't, I, I've never done business or I've never seen anybody do business that didn't want to give a phone number out to a potential, a potential customer. So take your time and think about that. Like, hey man, can I give you a phone call talk about that puppy that I want to buy? Hey man, uh, I can't give you my phone number. How about you hit me up on this WhatsApp app or just continue to talk to me through Messenger on Facebook? That don't really sound business-like. Coupled with number one, that may not be a real person. He ain't got no pictures of himself. He ain't got no video of himself, him or the dog. And he don't want to give you a phone number? And eh, that could raise a couple red flags. I mean, that's pretty common sense right there. So that's number two. You guys make sure y'all taking notes, man. All right, number three. Now, you all on this page, coupled with number one. Number one meaning he ain't got no pictures of his family. He ain't got no pictures of him. All he got is one picture of the dog, coupled with number two. He don't want to even give you a phone number. You can't even get in real contact with him. You just got to talk to him with the messenger. So now number three. Number three is is pretty pretty like pretty pretty large red flag he don't want to give you no new pictures ain't no new pictures probably about four pictures of the dog maybe two or three pictures maybe maybe less maybe he's just playing around with two or three pictures he want to send to everybody hmm? and what if you ask that person for an updated picture maybe an updated video and he give you a hard time about that i mean simple pop this bad boy open right now I can shoot a little video of food back there and send it directly to you. Ain't no big deal. Take me about five seconds. Five, 10 seconds, no big deal. Here, here's an updated video. Bam, there's the dog. Now, see, if somebody tell you they got a problem with doing that, that's gotta be a red flag. So you don't got no updated picture or video, and you can't send me nothing to, legit to legitimize your business with me? That could be your third red flag. Guys, want to pay attention, man. Make sure you take notes, man. All right, guys. Right into number four. So, 
not too long ago, maybe about five, five years ago, they came out with a funky little tool that came on the phone. It's called video chat. And then all these other little apps that you can do video chat on. iPhone has their own little app, FaceTime. And most people got iPhones. And if you don't got an iPhone, you can still use Messenger or Instagram to video chat. So, if your potential person that you want to buy a dog from refuses to video chat and show their face, show the dog, that's probably a big old red flag that I have to buy from that person. Now see, if you call me and you want to video chat with me with my dogs, I'm gonna video chat you with no problem. I'm gonna open that bad boy. I may even turn it sideways so you can get the movie picture of me. And my dog, there go my dog. Me in live, real live color, me and my dog. So if the person doesn't want to video chat, completely busy, I don't know if, too many people that's in business for themselves that's too busy to video chat. I got all the time in the world to promote my business. So that's number four. Number four, if they refuse to video chat, you might as well just move on to the next person. All right, guys, quick video. This is number five. Number five is huge. Look at my baby kicking her coat. She about to have babies on me. This my, is my baby baby. She about to have some, some pretty little babies. You guys keep a watch out on food. Fuji gonna have her some big old fat babies. So, number five. Number five is the main one and hopefully you guys listen to the video all the way through. Number five is huge. Now, if the potential person that you wanna buy dolls from has not put any effort into doing anything to let the general public know that they are a real business, anything to legitimize their business, that's a big old red flag. I don't think a lot of people is just generally out here trying to sell puppies and not putting any effort in to show that they're a business. So, i.e. they don't have a logo, maybe they don't have a website, maybe, maybe they just don't have anything to legitimize their self as a business at all. Phone number, like you're not trying to give a phone number, uh, yeah, you're not promoting yourself as a kennel. You just pop up, you go to their Instagram page, and one day they're posting pictures of him, you know, them and their homeboys and homegirls somewhere out to eat, and then the next day they post a picture of a dog. Or maybe they just pop up with one picture on their Instagram page, just with one picture of a dog talking about this dog for sale. Or what if they got one of them Instagram pages with just nothing but dogs on it, with no logo of a business? anything that's legitimizing themselves as a business, that may be a huge red flag. I mean, that's the number one thing. You guys wanna sell dogs. Guys wanna sell dogs, you gotta, most of the people that I know and most of the people in the industry that do things to kind of legitimize themselves as a business. Like I sell dogs. Maybe the little bio and description section of the IG and Facebook section says I'm a Ohio breeder or a California breeder, hobbyist, and I love bully breeds or I love whatever, you know, particular, you know, breed of dog. They don't, if they don't say anything about themselves and they just pop up, well, uh, buy this dog. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know too many people that just go up and just buy something from somebody just because they have it. Like, oh, you wanna buy this? And just imagine that somebody just walk up on you and be like, well, I got some knives. You wanna buy it from me? And you buy them from me? What if they were stolen? You out here buying stolen goods, you can get yourself clinked up. So like I said, most people take the time and create an aura around themselves to show that they're a business. Like I am a business. Like I'm on here showing you guys my dog. I am promoting myself as a small business owner with a kennel and I breed Frenchies and American Bullies. There's some type of introduction to show that you're a legitimate business. So that's number five. If you don't see any effort from that person and they're not a breeder that you guys wanna, wanna trust, and trust, trust, trust in at all. Like, you just wanna keep it moving. And I think that's about it, man. And hopefully you guys employ some of them measurements, man, so you can quit getting scammed and I quit having to read y'all's sorry and sad posts on Facebook and Instagram about getting scammed. Take your time, do your, follow these steps and do your due diligence.
Until next time, man. I don't know what you guys are doing in y'all's yard, but this is what I'm doing in mine. Peace.